Hello everybody, welcome back to 2K21. How's everybody doing today? Today we're going to be using the new Victor Oladipo, not new Victor Oladipo card, he, you could have gotten him weeks ago. But, my new Victor Oladipo card, he's a triple threat rewards for winning 450 games as you can see. And, we're going to be doing a review. We have the cards from last game, so I don't really have to change them out, pick golds. And, they'll be able to help us out a little bit better. So we're going up against Ben Simmons and two Colts. So this shouldn't be that bad as long as Ben Simmons is not on the man on defense. So, Victor Oladipo, really, he's not bad. I would say he's he's, he's good. He's pretty good. But he does have a negative. His, his defense is really lacking. Like, he gets torched by gold cards who aren't even that good. Like, you should be able to contain Gordon, just because Gordon, he's not a shifty, movie, like, I can hurt you by moving past you kind of player. So, when you're using Old Adipo, he's a card that can shoot, but the way he moves, it's like, you think he's like a plain slasher. He's a, he's a quick moving player, like, he's not like a Curry who just, he feels shifty. Like, he, he can shoot if you just sit there and just wait a little bit. Don't ever just pull up while moving. That's not very smart. That's an unintelligent thing to do. So overall, like, if you look at somebody, let's say like Lamelo, who's not technically the same position, he can play the shooting guard, but Victor Oladipo can play the small forward. I wouldn't recommend it, but he can. Like, you got Melo, who's a shifty player. He can get wherever you want him to. His dribble moves are good. He can pass the ball well. Because of his size, he can play good defense. And even at shooting guard, he's not outsized. But Victor Oladipo is outsized at small forward. Really, he's not that big of a shooting guard. Bump. Go this way. I tried to do a, 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 a space size up style move. Ah, I'm just moving into the same moves over and over again. Just give Lamella all the ball and let him do his thing. So Victor Oladipo's dribbles aren't bad. They can really get you open if you know when to use them on a specific player. As you saw, I kept doing the same move thinking it would give me space, but Ben Simmons was eating on it, and he didn't let it work even one time. So let's go to... Oh, I messed up. We're going to go down next time we get the ball. We're going to do some crossovers, some between the leg or behind the backs. They're very similar on how you do them. So, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. So we do this, behind the back, crossover, he ate, and he eats. Victor Oladipo is nice, his, his moves can, can do what you need to do to get him open. He's, he's a pretty good player. Just, if you try to move him at anything else, like if he was a shooting guard point guard, ooh, super recommendation. He'd be a great point guard, because he's a good size for it. Shooting's pretty good. His passing is pretty good. I mean, he can hit whoever. His, his passing's good, but his alley-oops are kind of piss poor. Like, I tried to give Lamelo a couple oops in a previous game, and every time they'd be sure or they'd be off. Like, I, I didn't oop to Wiseman, and Wiseman caught it, but it was short, so he had to reach for it, and he did a layup instead of a dunk. So, like, his playmaking is good, but his alley-ooping sucks. Like, you can move the ball wherever you need it to, whether it's with him or moving the ball without him. So, a pass. He can shoot. As you can see, his steal is pretty good. His perimeter defense is supposed to be really good. But I just can't do it. Like, his perimeter D to me, it's not nice. Like, I don't think he would be out here for me just getting stops that I want him to do. Like, that oop was terrible. I mean, he did it, and he caught it and everything. Just, it's, it didn't do what I wanted it to do. Like, I don't think you're missing out much if you don't get this Victor Oladipo card. Like, yeah, he's free, and there's there are some cards you can buy who are better. Like, I would say Donovan Mitchell's literally the exact same card. His Amethyst card. I think during Halloween. I'd say that card is this card, but I feel more comfortable doing different things with him. Like... That card, I feel more comfortable with shooting, even though he does dribble and everything the same. It's just 
something with him. His changeup, it just feels good. Ooh, that Ben Simmons is kind of nice. I would buy him, but I feel like he's arm and a leg, plus another arm and two more legs. So let's try to shift. Nope. Oh, fake. All right, let's see if he can do a good pick and roll. No, that should have been a block. Right back. He's out. Let's see if he can hit the two. Darn. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I warmed him up enough for him to be more of a hit guy, but he's missing. Like, if you look at what it says, it says he can hit it. everything. Let's see if I can do something with Lamelo and like come over here and like do a couple moves, maybe a spin move. No, because they're doubling Lamelo with Ben Simmons. I mean, if you need a cheesy cheese, you can do that. For him being warm, I feel like he should be able to do more. Like I, I have yet to get a steal being in position, even on bigger players who don't have the best dribbling. Like, I feel like his best clamp time is when he, he gets his, his slashing takeover. See if he runs to the paint. And he can catch good oops. This card is just not a card you're missing out on if you don't get. Like, if you don't play triple threat offline, you more or less just like playing online. This card isn't anything you're missing. You're not, it's not like, oh, you, oh, you should have got this. You're missing out so much. I can't believe it. Like, this is a card you're like, oh, I missed out on, it's fine, I'll just wait for the next, whatever. Or I'll do it later. Because you can wait a while. I mean, 450 wins is a lot. But if you're starting at zero and you play ten games a day, it'd take like a month and a half. That's it. A month and a half. I mean, yeah, ten games a day it sounds like a lot, but it's really not. If you can get through them quick, you can, you can do them pretty fast. So in the next video, we're going to be doing the new... Idol, I think it's Idol's VIP cards, which are pretty good. So, you guys come back for that next video. It'll be a good one. Peace.